Oh, I tell you, friends, the, the hardest person in the world to overcome is ourselves, the one that we look at in the mirror. And if we're ever going to overcome selves, we have to start being really honest with ourselves. We've got to get down to nitty gritty and say, you know what? That's just me because that's what I want to do. I'm trying to make it work out for me. I'm interpreting all the little signs, you know. I want to go do this thing, and, and I've got a little bit of a check in my heart, a little bit of conviction about wasting that money or wasting that time or doing this. So I'm going to watch for God to give a sign, and all of a sudden, somebody else said that, and I'll, look at this, it connects with this, and, and I walked through the store, and I saw in the newspaper that same word. It sounds ridiculous, but that's exactly what we do. It's exactly what we do. Instead of just saying, God, this is what I want, but I don't know that it's what you want. I need a real answer. It's amazing how dishonest we are with ourselves. But the, the funny part is, deep down we know. But up here we convince ourselves when down here we're not sold. Or maybe I'm the only one who does that. But I can explain it thoroughly to you because I've been through it numerous times. Down here, there's a little check, a little no. But up here in the reasoning realm, I want to. It's not sin. You can't say it's sin. I want to do this, but down here, there's a little no. But I will reason and reason. And then all, if I can find where the prophet did it, where, see, he went fishing. I can abandon these duties and go fishing. If I can find where the prophet did it, or I can find some, 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 something to give me just that little edge, that little push in my reasoning mind, amen, to get over this nagging feeling, I'll go down that path and, and think that I've got an answer from the Lord. But deep down in your heart, you already know. I don't know how we can go on being the bride of Jesus Christ unless we start being really real. Really real all the way down to the core of our persons and stop playing games in our mind and stop playing games with the word and stop playing games with ourselves. But get down to the nitty gritty and say, this is here I am, Lord. This is what I've done. God, forgive me. And lead me and let me stay in your word because he'll try to give you a word that will allow you to do what you already want to do. And you know what? God will let him to prove what's in our hearts. And every once in a while, we need to fall and bump our nose real hard to realize that I still need God and I still need to be honest with God. And I'm still in fallen flesh and I'm still in a corruptible body with a corruptible mind and I need to feed the white dog and I need to stay close to Christ and I need to line to this word if I ever hope to overcome in this world.